Okay, so hi everyone and welcome back. I know that the, this is going to be a weird kind of video because I'm just going to be sitting down and talking to you guys. But I had a lot of stuff happen at the beginning of this week, not allowing me to video the video that I wanted to video. That was a lot of videos in one sentence. But I am still coming back on a Sunday to bring you a video. I'm literally recording this last minute because I realised it was Sunday and then I realised that if I didn't film a video soon, there was not going to be a video up. So, and I want a video up every week. Um, so I am bringing you back a video today. Not next week, the week after. I'm going on holiday. And being an epilepsy sufferer, I have to take medication away with me. Now, I've looked online and I've searched everywhere and I can't find no videos telling people how to travel with medication. But those who have to travel for the first time with medication, it can be really daunting. So I thought I'd do a video of how to travel with medication. Some of this might only work for medication from the UK um, because I'm from the UK but it might not, so I'm not too sure how it will work from your country. Now, because I'm epileptic, I have tablets. Um, I don't have needles like you would if you were diabetic, but I know that if you are diabetic from the UK, it works the same way. Um, so, in the UK, you can either pay and get a doctor's note, or you can just get a prescription of your medication. The prescription you will get will include the medication that you have to take and how much you have to take and all your personal details. I'll find one on Google and insert what a UK's prescription looks like here. So you'll take one of those and what you want to do is in the liquids bag that you normally have, you want to put your prescription in that bag and then put your medication in it by your liquids. It'll just make it easy. So when you get to the conveyor belt, which looks like this, and they ask you to put your liquids in and they ask you to take your watches off and everything like that, if you if you tell the person that's gonna send your stuff off, I have this medication in here and I have my proof inside that it is my medication, they will alert the person who's going through so that they know that you've got medication in there. Now they could potentially stop you and ask about your medication and ask why you've got it or check it against your passport to make sure that it is your defi definitely your medication. But when I went away last year, they just said, okay, that's fine, they'll let someone know and I wasn't even questioned on it at all. So it's less of a scary process than some people may think. I was petrified to take medication on holiday, but you do need some proof of your medication because if otherwise, if you were to get stopped, you would have no legs to stand on, basically. Yeah. If you are travelling with any medication or you do have some form of disability or illness or anything like that make sure you have some form of identification on you your body at all times whether that's a medical bracelet a medical necklace anything like that like if something was to happen and you were to fall ill in a foreign country they'd know everything and having your e-hit card is super important if you're from the uk because that allows you to have your free eligibility to NHS stuff over in there over there as well so I know it's been really short and I'm really sad that it's been short because I love making videos for you guys and I didn't want it to be a short video and I had a really good video planned but like I said stuff happened at the beginning of this week and I wasn't able to video the video I wanted so I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless and 
I hope this helped any of you who want need to travel with any form of medication. Okay then, thanks for watching. Bye. Baby, I love me. Everybody say.